Yeah. It's your boy Big Country, aka the Right Brother, and this message goes to uh, this video is in response to um, Miss Williams. She did a "What's in my refrigerator?" So I'm gonna do "What's in my refrigerator?" in the truck. All right, my truck is a mess. Yeah, I gonna see some of the mess. All right, hopefully uh, I keep the camera at a good distance to where you don't get you don't get to see the man boobs but you get to see a little bit of the man hair you know what i'm saying i'm gonna try to keep the camera uh around the man boobs uh and make sure i stay away from uh the nether regions you know like the bottom of my balls because you know all that in between there is a hot mess but uh my lady love it so <laughs> anyway uh okay well i'm a, eh, 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 uh. it's a mess i drink a lot of water so I got water there, I got water there. I drink a lot of water. I got bread, and there's some more bread. I need, I need to throw these two away because they bought them. Uh, there go my bread. I got some Oreos. So what happened is I had damaged product uh, of like a bunch of Oreos, honey grams, rich crackers and stuff. So I took most of it home. I kept a couple boxes for me. Um, I don't really eat Oreos like that, but hey, anytime I want something sweet, I can always get me some Oreos. You know what I'm saying? All right, so here's what's in my refrigerator. It's not technically a refrigerator. You know, let me go ahead and clear that up. Cause I know some people want the proper name for it. It's an iceless cooler. So, this is what I have in my, what I like to refer to as a refrigerator, but what is an iceless cooler? Boom. There it is. There it is. Cheese. Story behind the cheese. I bought this cheese about mm, two weeks ago. Sam Club, you get three packs for X amount of dollars, right? I told my lady a couple weeks ago. Well, I talked to her about two days ago when she told me that Sam Club called and said that that cheese is recalled because it has particles in it. So basically what I'm going to be doing is eating cheese with particles in it. Cause I'm not taking it back. Then again, yeah, I'm not taking that back. All right, I like flavor, I like tang. So we got horseradish, mustard, put a little dab of that. Mayonnaise, now me and my lady be having issues about this because she like Miracle Whip. I can't tell the difference between Miracle Whip and mayonnaise. To me, this is just lubricant for your food. That's all mayonnaise is. It's just a KY jelly for your throat to swallow and digest whatever it is that you're eating. All right? And yes, I am black, and yes, I do enjoy mayonnaise and Miracle Whip. I like the lubrication. Got me some Grey Poupon. I like the tang. Here's something that I really, really enjoy. Oyster sauce. Now, if you haven't had oyster sauce, you're... You're technically supposed to cook with it. Uh, let me hide my nails, they might be dirty. I ain't had a manicure in a long time. Yes, grown men do get manicures. Um, but this stuff is delicious. It's a, it's a fishy, smoky, tangy, it's fl full of flavor. Now, here's the thing. They make a few different brands of oyster sauce. If you actually go to the aisle and check it out. Uh, of course, it's gonna be in like in the Asian section or whatever. Um, and my camera just went out and my camera just went out I don't know why I can't keep a charge on my phone alright well let's hear it and get done with the video so I also got uh, some A1 sauce boom A1 sauce they had overstocking this at the job so I got that for uh, 25 cents alright I'll be eating on some uh, boom turkey breast who don't like breasts? Breasts are healthy, delicious, and nutritious. And it's full of vitamins, and it makes you feel good after you eat it. And play with them. It. I mean, you know, eat it. Yeah. Breast. Who don't like saying breast? Breast. I got my own, so don't even sit here and be like, oh, you're being sexy. Uh, no, I got man boobs. So. Alright, and the last thing I have in here is some smoked ham. Uh, you know, that's about as healthy as I'm going to get for right now. Oh, check this out. Hang on, let me close it. Uh, uh, uh. He, ooh, 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 ooh. 
Okay. If you're going to uh, get your salt and pepper, oh, here. I also like sriracha. Uh, if you're going to get, uh, what's in my eye? I feel like doing this. That Miss Williams know why. All right, if you're going to get a uh, salt and pepper, you want to make sure to get your salt and pepper in a grinder. Reason being is because it has a top, so all your stuff is safe. It's not if, even if it falls, it's not going. Uh oh, it's <laughs> it's not going to come out. All right, I bought. I like sea salt. I don't like regular salt. I like sea salt. I bought sea salt. Uh, I bought sea salt, and now it's all over my truck because the one I bought had a little spin top. You know, you, you got big holes and little holes. You got to spin it to the hole that you want. Well, that's what happened, and now I got sea salt all over my truck. Uh, so I'm thinking I'm gonna have to throw that away or try to find a maybe can find a container to put it in a little small container to put it in and that way it'll be secure because I was uh, at a receiver and they got done unloading me I pulled away and I had it sitting up on the counter and it fell and it just scattered everywhere and I don't have uh, stuff to, to properly clean it the way I want to so I think I'm gonna actually buy one of those little air hole things and see if I can uh, huh and see if I can shoot it out with the air. All right. <laughs> it's so random. This shit is just so random. What is it? All right, anyway. Uh, that's what's in my refrigerator. All right, it's your boy Big Country, AKA The Right Brother. I said I will upload it, and even though you probably could barely see me because I, I don't know why. See, when I record, it's spontaneous. It's just something that comes over me and say, hey, I want to record that. And that's what you get. I mean, you notice, like, what big dude would want to be on camera without a shirt on? I mean, you know, I got my diabetes neck. It's all black right there. You know, but I do got a little, kind of a little definition. Right? Let me tighten it up a little bit. Uh, a little definition back there. Uh, you, know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, um, so whenever it just comes over me to record, I record and I put it out there. Uh, I try editing from my phone one time, but it takes too much doing and I'm mad lazy, so... That is it. Uh, that's what's in my refrigerator. Anything else I can tell y'all? When you're on the road, drink lots of water. Try to stay away from the sodas and the juices. Uh, I try to compromise if I need flavor. I try to compromise with sweet tea. But the sugar that the, they use in the sweet tea at the truck stop is delicious. So that means it's definitely not healthy for you. Uh, it's absolutely scrumptious. Like it's a little bit too sweet. And that's just the way I like it. All right. Um, yeah, just try to be conscious. Listen, all right, the ice cooler thing that I bought cost me brand new about probably about a hundred bucks. All right, so this is what you want to do when you get out there on the road on your own and you start um, making money. You know, me, I send 80% of my check home, so I only get about a hundred and something dollars to play with the week for myself, okay. So that's why it took me a little bit long. That's why it takes me longer to get things for my truck. It's because I always want to make sure home's taken care of first. You know, make sure she can pay the bills and have money to get groceries and so on and so forth. I'm trying to be a man, man. You know what I'm saying? Trying to be a provider. Mm. But um, you definitely want to invest in, in an ice cooler or a refrigerator or something. Because out here, dude, you will spend, you can spend $30 to $40 a day. You're getting your you getting your coffee, you getting your breakfast, you getting your lunch, you getting your dinner, you getting your snack. Uh, then you picking up things to eat while you're on the road. Uh, then you just picking up junk food. Just it's, it gets expensive. I went from paying uh, spending all my twenty percent on food to where I now have money in my pocket because I invested in this. I could I spent thirty bucks. Thirty bucks got me two loaves of bread. All that ham that you've seen, all the bologna you've seen, mayonnaise, uh, the, the the mustard, um, and something else, and something else. Uh, I think the water, you get 34 bottles of water for like $3 at like Sam Club or Costco or something like that because, uh, and, and that's just saving money. I mean, you get them from the, the truck stop. In California, I noticed they're two for $9. Outside of California, they're two for $8, the, and it's only the 24 case of water. So, uh, you want to definitely invest in that. 
and and buy stuff that you want to eat that you can eat every day i can eat sandwiches all day long uh, my biggest thing now is i always want chips you know and all that sodium and all that shit is not good but i feel like at least i'm taking a step every time i don't go get fast food it's a step in the right direction but i slip man i was getting i was eating like fruits and vegetables and i'm like you know what i went to a truck stop they had a bowl of apples and caramel and it was three dollars and 49 cents but anybody that drives trucks know you can get two hot dogs for three dollars so i'm like ah uh, fuck it i'm just gonna get the two hot dogs now i gotta go buy some tums so that's another dollar 35 cents right now because it's gonna it, it gave me an acid and then um after that i was like i need something to wash it down with because the water ain't working but if i go get me a, some bubbly water like a sprite and just drink it real fast burp and try to get all this stuff out and then i was like oh but since i'm here i might as well get me a mac chicken you know it's only nine it's only a dollar dollar 19 and it's just a slippery slope so you got to be careful with that okay be careful when you get out here on this road you need to go ahead and just start eating healthy from the get-go because that chester chicken those potato wedges mm, yeah and you can only do so much sam uh subway subway lasts you for the first month or so that you're out here then you be like fuck that <laughs> you know what i'm saying fuck that um so definitely invest in an iceless cooler thing or a refrigerator and uh hopefully you have a friend or somebody that has a sound club or costco or you could just go to walmart and just buy the big you know big thing and just stuff it in there and it'll save you so much money and health wise it's a lot better uh for you you know even if you didn't even have the bread because of the starch uh you can find a supplement for the bread or you could just eat the meat i mean you're in your truck you know it's okay to be a little bit savage in your truck all right i think i'm done um I bought some shades and I've worn them and sweated in them and worn them and sweated in them to where now I got black marks so every time I wear them I get these black marks so I had to get the scrub and get that off I know random thought all right I'm out of here it's your boy big country I'll holler at you peace